Hey everyone, it's Movie Sonic here, and I am joined with a very special guest. It's only the other awesome Blue Hedgehog himself. Why, thank you very much. What's up, guys? Sonic the Hedgehog here. Heh, <laughs> we got the double Sonics here. It's me, you know, the Movie Sonic with all the fluff, and then it's Normal Sonic. Uh, well, Normal's kind of a... Uh, it's the modern Sonic, you know, with um <laughs> the face of Sega, I guess. Even though I've got the face of Sega as well, because I'm kind of a Sonic. But you know what I mean. Anyways, yeah. welcome back, you know, to another video of Sonic. Uh, guess what we're doing today? Um, all I see is push a button. Yeah, so we're playing Will You Press the Button. Um, I'm pretty sure Silver did this on his channel once, but it's been a while, so we decided to bring it back, you know, see how it does. I have no idea if this will do well, but, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And yeah, so the concept of Will You Press the Button is Would You Rather, but it's a bit of a twist. So instead of, you know, this or that, it's kind of like you have an option to gain something good for, from pressing the button, but while you press the button, there's a bit of a trade-off. So, for example, let's go and start with this first one. So, you get a ticket to your favorite band's concert, but you have to shave your head. Um, uh. so I'm the most fluffy and all my quills would be gone. Everything about me would be gone. And in your case, you also have quills. So what happens to you? Huh, that's a good question. I don't know. Favorite band's concert. I'm gonna be real, I don't really listen to much music, so I don't really know if I, I'm good with skipping this one. What about I'm you? Like Crush 40. Oh yeah, Crush I 40. I a lot of our songs. So would you like to go see Crush 40 but have to shave your head? Yeah, not not for shaving my head though. Sorry. All right, let's go ahead and not press the button. We're both gonna agree. And it looks like apparently the majority of people agree with us as well. So 54%, as you can see, would rather not press the button. And 54%, I'm sorry, 46% will press the button. Oh gosh, nice. well, um, maybe, maybe some of them are already, like, have been in the military before and they already have to shave their heads, so, uh, no, no thanks. <laughs> um, but here, why don't you read this next one? All right, you can change any fruit into a sweet food, but you gain four times the normal weight for that food. So, like, hmm. you get more calories? <laughs> Um, I don't know if it's calories or you actually just get fatter. The problem with us is it's really hard for us to gain weight because we run around so much. We have the metabolism, like food goes right through us, guys. We're not even kidding. True. We could probably eat junk food for the rest of our lives and not gain a single pound or maybe lose weight. Well, we might lose weight eating junk food. Maybe. Huh. <laughs> I mean, I can't think of, you know, any, like what kind of sweet food are we talking about? Like like you know junk food or something or just like food that we maybe like maybe like cake ice cream candy maybe i mean to be honest i'd be fine with pressing the button we could just burn it off you know by running i know running is more like you know on our legs and stuff but i mean it's also you know it'll, it, it's it would be good to lose weight you know to be honest i think we'll be fine with this one yeah so we're gonna both press the button and see what happens only 26%, man, those people need to work out. <laughs> like, the 74% the, the people, that they just need to work out. This is not a call-out, by the way. Please do not get offended if you uh, if you don't have as good of a metabolism as we do. The, the problem is, is we run, okay? We run a lot. It's our life. You take away running, and we have nothing left. You might as well kill us. Okay, I wouldn't go that far, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead and just go to the next one. Okay, so... You become, you're the best writer in the world, but you're dyslexic. <laughs> how, how would that, that work? work? <laughs> Wait, how, how does that work? work? So, you type everything so great, like you type a great story, but you can't read it yourself. That's basically how this works. Huh. Uh, hmm. uh, yeah, how does that even work? There is a, comic, uh, a comment section that we could look at, but I'm not gonna look at it because it would require me to scroll down and, uh, well, I don't want to ruin the layout of this video, but I don't know how that I would mean, work. I mean, to be honest, I mean, we're not really writers. We yeah, don't really write. We don't I'd really rather write. be able to read. Yeah, I'd rather be able to read, you know, because, you know, it'd be great, you know. I mean, you know all the comics I've read, right? I mean, you you, you, you saw my movie and you saw how fast oh, yeah. I blew through those comics. Imagine how much slower it would be if I couldn't read. I'd probably really? give up. 
<laughs> Alright, so are you pressing the button or are you agreeing with me and you're not pressing the button? I will not. Alright, I will not. And it looks like apparently 58% of the people disagree with us. Interesting. So huh. I guess, yeah. Um, they don't want to read. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. There's a comment right here. It says the, the, the irony that dyslexic is spelled wrong. They're right. It's, it's spelled wrong. I didn't even <laughs> notice that. I guess we're already dyslexic. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, that took a turn. Okay, well, why don't you read this one? We'll go ahead and alternate. I'll read one, you read one, and we'll keep going. And by the way, guys, if you're enjoying and you've made it this far so far, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell to get notified when Silver or myself upload. And check out Sonic's channel. All right, continue. All right. You helped create the best video game of 2047, but your name shows up nowhere in the credits, and you have no way to prove you were... Part. PSRT? Part. Oh, yeah. part of its production. So, um, I could say something bad right now. <clears throat> uh, Space Jam. <laughs> anyways, we're not gonna get into that. Uh, we're not gonna get into <laughs> that. So, anyways, so we get no credit, but we create a great video game. Well, I'll just tell all my friends that I worked on it, and if, uh, like, you know, I I'll just tell other people, and if they don't believe me, I'll just show them the work that I did. I'll, like, have a backup on my computer or something of the, of the project. <laughs> I don't know. Of what I helped <laughs> with. Or I'll like, what I'll do is I'll like, I'll, I'll take a video camera and I'll like hide it somewhere. So I can be like, guys, look at me. I'm working on a great game. So people can see that I actually did. But I mean, don't you kind of already work on games, you know? Because you have your own games. True. But I'm, it does say in the part that you have no way to prove it. So how would that work? Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I missed that, huh? You know what? Um... I mean, in your case and my case, it might be a different. I mean, you've got your own games, so you don't really need to prove that you were part of it. I mean, granted, it Sega basically takes your adventures and just kind of re-simulates them, don't they? <laughs> basically. So what do you want to do? I think I'm good with still pressing the button, because... I'm fine with it. I, whatever, I guess, you know... If people don't believe believe us, whatever. Ooh, that one's a close one, a 51 <laughs> and 49. Only a 1% difference. Interesting. And before the comments say 2%, no, because if you take 1% away from 50, that becomes, from 51, that becomes 50, and then the other one comes 50, and it becomes a 50-50. So no, it is only a 1% difference, not a 2%. I had to get that out of my system. All right. Let's see what's next. All right, you get to live a perfect life with various dif uh, difficult um, obstacles that shape you into being a great hero. We're already heroes, but yeah. everything you know is a lie. You're a character with... <laughs> oh. Um, um, modern Sonic? I hate to tell you this, but we kind of already are a fictional character. I knew it. <laughs> we kind of already are fictional characters. We're going to break the fourth wall a bit. So, um, I'm good with pressing the button. I guess. We're, we're, already, already, in this. we're already in this kind of universe, so we're going to go ahead and press the button. Uh, I That's why I started laughing, because literally, just, you're a character within a fictional world, and so are the people around you. That That is what we are. That That is what we are, everyone. I'm sorry, but we're fictional characters. We are very self-aware. <laughs> okay, um, why don't you go ahead and read this one? We'll go ahead and do a few more and then wrap up this video. Okay. Let's see. You can't die, but you can still be hurt, but it will never kill you. Parentheses. You are in a car accident and you are injured to the point where you will die, but you don't. So Deadpool. So you just feel the pain. So Deadpool, basically basically Deadpool. I don't know if I want to go through pain, and to be honest, I don't want to live forever, because that seems like it would get boring after a while. Like, imagine not to get dark, all the friends that you'd make and then die. But then yeah, you'd still alive. Yeah, kind of lame. Yeah, I mean, we've already ran around the world, you know, like, a hundred times. We've already seen everything. Hmm. Alright, so are you yeah. gonna press the button, or are you gonna not press the button? No, I won't. All right, I noticed that we're agreeing, but the thing is, is we're both Sonics. Wow, apparently 54% of the people don't, don't want to die, but they want to feel pain. Okay. Ugh. Interesting. All right, let's see. 
you will be able to ban anyone in YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and every other site, but oh, you will lose power. part of your memory. So oh, that's no. a big trade-off. So dang, I can't ban anyone? Man, I have so many uh, YouTube comments I'd ban. I, I, I'm kidding. It was a joke. It was a joke. Haha. <laughs> Unless. Uh, it, it was a joke. You, you be quiet, Modern. It, you, <laughs> you be quiet, Mr. Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, the first. Kind of. Wasn't your classic self basically the first? Yeah. Okay. In any case, I'm going to choose not to press the button because I don't want to lose part of my memory. Like, what if I forget you? What if I forget myself? What if I forget Donut Lord? It's like being... What if I forget Longclaw? It's like being like Shadow. Except you have more power on the internet. Oh. That's right. You told me that uh, the Shadow... Uh, yeah, the the shadow. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna call him the shadow. Uh, the shadow uh, person, hedgehog, uh, got amnesia at one point. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna choose not to press the button because I don't want to lose part of my memory. But what about you? Do you want all that power? Huh. Would be nice, but I don't want to lose my memory either. I have too many friends. Too many friends that I don't want to forget. If we choose friends. And it looks like a lot of people agree. All right, 73%. Good good on the people, you know, that that are on the site, you know. All right. Well, why don't we uh why don't we end it off on this one? Unless it's a bad one. Go ahead and read it. Wait, was I the one that read the last one? I think it's your turn. No, I was the one that read the last one. I think. Oh, did you I already lost my memory? <laughs> yeah, look, he's already losing his memory, everyone. All right. Your turn. <laughs> All right. You can be anywhere you want, but you have to be a pony forever. Oh no. Uh, we're not gonna oh no. That that just that just gave me gave me ideas for really bad fan art that could happen. Um please no. Don't make us ponies. Not from from my little pony or anything, please. I'm gonna choose not. I don't I don't really wanna be a pony. The funny thing is we could already be anywhere we want. Yeah, kinda. This question was kind of but meh. I'm gonna choose another one after this, but are we both agreeing yeah. that we don't want to? We don't want to be a pony. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, okay. Sixty-four percent. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do one more. Hope we can get a uh, a good one. Ooh, so you will be a Jedi in the Star Wars universe, but you will be followed by a non-killable Jar Jar Binks. Oh no! Not Jar Jar. Oh no! You know, as cool as it would be to be a Jedi and fight the dark side. I never had a problem with Jar Jar Binks while watching the movies, but if he was around all the time, I think I'd get pretty annoyed at him. No offense. And you can't kill him. Huh. Oh. Well, what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna push the button. We're not gonna push the button. Wow, apparently 53% of the people actually like Jar Jar Binks or don't care. Dang. All right, let's go ahead and just to make it a nice even number, you end us off. Sure. You can read minds, but whenever you read someone's mind, they can read yours too. Oh gosh. Oh, so imagine like you're trying to read someone's mind and then they all of a sudden start reading your mind and then they say something about you. Oh, that would be... You, you know what? You know what? You know what I would do? I would just think that... I, I would just like... So if I was reading someone's mind, I would just think... Constantly in my head, I would just repeat the phrase, I'm reading your mind, I'm reading your mind, or, I, or I'm saying, or no, I'd just say, I like chili dogs, over and over, until they uh, hate uh, hearing it. Or I'd just say a phrase that would annoy them, so they would stop reading my mind. By that point, it's like having a basic conversation with your brain. Yeah, basically. So I think I will press the button. I'm, I want to know what people are thinking, I want to know what all you fans think of me. You know, I won't push the button. You won't push the line? You don't want people thinking nah. you're of reading your mind when you read someone's mind? No, nah, I like to let life take me where it goes. I guess I'm just a little more curious, because, you know, I guess I, I want to hear what people are thinking. And I, can, and I can hear if someone's talking bad about us. <laughs> All right, well, let's let's see what happens. Well, it looks like 56% of people agree with me and 44% agree with you. Oh, Aww. interesting. Well, that's going to do it for this little video. So, you know, once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. You know, this is not a game that I've seen often on the channel, but we decided to do it because, honestly, it's a little better than Would You Rather, in my personal opinion. But, Mr. Modern Sonic, thank you for joining me. Nah, no problem. Anytime. 
Yep, and if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more content like this, then consider subscribing and click that bell to get notified when I upload or Silver uploads. Make sure to check out Sonic's channel in the description below, you know, go check out his, uh, um, I noticed that Shadow was eating uh, chips under your bed. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Interesting. So go check that video out, everyone. <laughs> Anyways, see you later, everyone. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.